Today, it has become very necessary for Asante Youth Association, Kumasi Youth Association, Asante Zongo Youth, Asante Students Union, in Pomponcho in US of A, to bring to our attention over the past few days, months, and years on some needless and groundless attempt by some non-entities, faceless characters, coward politicians, coward religious leaders, to undermine, malign, and cause hatred towards the embodiment and soul of Asante. It is indeed a great concern for millions of Asantes around the world who are not only deeply hurt on these dangerous plots and plans by these faceless and non-entities. Asantes are known for our humanity, peace, and our trademark of hospitality are being mistaken for our weakness and naivety. Asantima has never been colonized and will never be colonized. A sentiment will continue to exist in glory until the end of the world. And we are making it clear to all and in summary that we will never sacrifice our identity for anything. Our love for a and the heritage and the heritage for the interests of selfish religious leaders, politicians, who hide under politics and religion to malign our revered king, Santa Helen, but will go back to honor their Odikoros and chiefs. If people are blinded by greed, hate, and sheer jealousy, they should know that the truth for the Santa Helen, who is the embodiment and soul of a Santa Mai, is well respected around the world and the group. Initially, we decided not to respond to these non-entities, cowards, faceless, questionable characters who were spewing garbage about his royal majesty to force to do because they were not relevant to us. But with much regret, some people who are purported domicile in the diaspora have triggered an unguided attacks on the king. Such uncouth characters are heard on various audio videos circulating on social media website, etc. Furthermore, we were shocked to our bone marrow when we intercepted an audio of a respected religious leader in which I'm a church member, Bishop Guy Kiwok Mills, the founder and leader of Lifehouse Chapel International. Using unprintable and unfunded words against His Royal Majesty, this has indeed broken our long and painful silence. We know that there is a grand agenda to defame His Royal Majesty the King Solomon of our time. Such characters must be dealt with and will be dealt with to the brim. And we are making it clear. They should all know that where the boundary of liberty ends, there others' liberty begins. To the faceless non-entities, and Bishop Daiki on Lewis, blaming His Royal Majesty for the bad roads, poor condition of health facilities, education, other major infrastructure in our region, and assentment as a whole. We have these questions for these non entities, coward politicians, and religious leaders. The people of Ghana pay their taxes to the central government, not to Santa Ine. And we also put to them that which of the election years in Ghana
Ghana has seen Bishop Dyke and these non entities cast their ballot for His Royal Majesty Otum for Sekitum? Or have they already seen the King's picture on the ballot as a candidate? We would like to put it to them. Does Bishop Dyke who applause give his huge offerings and tithes that he receives monthly? from his church members to Santa Amy to develop a Santa Mine? We would like to know. Has Monsieur presented any political manifesto to anybody in Ghana? We would also like to know. As a religious leader, we believe we should have known better and still inquire from society government the numerous roles and interventions His Royal Majesty has played to save Ghana from shame and impunity. And everybody knows President Rollins confirmed what Santini did to save Ghana. John Ejekun Kufo did. John Mahama did. Prof. Mills did. Nana Kukwado has also even on numerous occasions said so. So we are from his unguided and impunity words that he used on his royal majesty, in which I can't repeat them here. If he showed that he had no scarce to know, the king does not receive taxes or offerings on every Tuesday, Wednesday, or Sundays as he does. And the king will never forgo to pay the snake of the workers he works with. God is, we believe God is love and not envy. Santorini has shown over the years by setting up scholarship schemes that has taken care of millions of people in Ghana, not only as Santiman. And we must say it emphatically. People that have benefited from Santini's scholarship are not only Santini, uh, people of Santiman. Santini facilitating with government in building the KJTR and Central Market project, and currently is the one facilitating for the abandoned Kofun market, in which we all know. We also want to know the Otunfo Agro Industrial Park, which is currently hosting the Dubai Multi Food Processing Factory, which is at its initial studies has employed over thousands of people. The Mongo Plantation Tick Plantation, Oil Plum Plantation, Kenaf Plantation which currently employs over thousands of people in Bono Ahafo and Asante region. The Royal Jeep Factory, which is expected to create over 5 million, over 5,000 direct and indirect jobs in Ghana, is also there for everybody to see. Parbon Estate, the Greenhouse Project, the new Kumasi project are all projects initiated by Santa Ine, who doesn't receive tithe and offering on Sundays, nor taxes. We have we have these for these non-entities, cowards, politicians, and religious leaders, and even Bishop Dyke Ward Mills. Who, through the influence of Santa Ine, have enjoyed enormous benefit. If you can't know, where he has built his church as a Tabinchi and Bantima were freely given to him by Santa Ine. It was freely given to him. The king, Ghana has much received international benefit during the tenure of successive government, even if people care to know, it was through the intervention of Santini that government got loan to 
finance the free SHS policy, which is ongoing currently. We don't want to talk about what had happened previously, but now, 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 free SHS that the church members of Lighthouse, which is funded by Bishop Dykeward, knows some members are enjoying. It is through the sweat and the benefit of Santini, twice some of his church members are enjoying free SHS today, if he cares to know. And with all honesty, if there is any institution that owns accountability to a saint mine, because our cocoa, bauxite, gold, timber, and many more natural resources have been used to develop other areas, and saint mine has not seen any development. A perfect example is the Minahini project, which government has used for a loan facility, the purpose interchange is part of that loan. But Santi, Santi has been promised interchange upon interchange since 2017. Budget upon budget have captured it, but we've not even seen one. So Santi deserves accountability, not accountability from a Santi to anybody in Ghana or the world. If, again, like you have no wants to know the work of a two for is not limited to only a sentiment but to Ghana and the world. That is why two for was recognized by the United Nations for its contribution in meeting the, meeting the SDGs and was invited to give a keynote address at the UN High Level Forum on Culture of Peace and we are all witness to that. Ghanaians do still enjoy peaceful environment, especially when it becomes difficult during electioneering processes or difficult chieftaincy disputes. And perfect example is Dabon. We all know the magnificent role his royal majesty played. His majesty uses his wisdom to solve problems, to solve some of these problems. And if Dike who knows wants to know why his Majesty is known as King Solomon. Is the reason being that the wisdom that he uses in solving problems is uncommon and unnatural. That is why his citizen renamed him the King Solomon of our time. Yeah. Before the ink, my turn is consumed. Ladies and gentlemen, and the media present, the traditional groups would like to state emphatically and to remain firm in our everlasting defense for the entirety of Asante, our enviable and jealousable king and well flanked chiefs. This remains our earnest resolution and we pledge to defend them through the thick and thin, irrespective of the situation that arises at that time. We are calling on Bishop Daggio of Mills, these non entities, to seek wise counsel within 48 hours. Otherwise, none of his churches in a Santiman enclave. And when I talk about Santiman, it's not about Santa region at all. Well, uh, you know, any word that the king's authority matches, we mean, and we mean it, we are not talking, that we will not allow his church to operate. We are sending this now to him. If he cares to know, he should ask the other guy. He will tell him about it. At the youth of Asante. When it comes to our bodies, too, we don't talk with it. And we will not allow any of the churches to operate. Also, we are warning all and then sundry who hide under religion, tribe, politics, at all to push this evil agenda against Asante Sikaja and his royal majesty, Utu for Ose Tutu. We will let them know that we will meet them with brute force and we mean it. Brute force. Again, this person goes to warn bloggers, my colleague, friends, media men present here and beyond Ghana and within Ghana. Who ride on such force and unwarranted issues? to promote their websites, their pages, 
to desist from it immediately or be ready to face the wrath of Ayakuya, Zoya, Asu, Sikaga and all relevant and recognized traditional groups of Asante. If they want to know, maybe they might have forgotten and most of them might have forgotten their history lessons and their social studies lessons that a Santiman was conceived in battle and was nurtured in battle and sustained in battle and presently the current generation we would defend a Santiman with our last drop of blood in conclusion I wish to remind all these non-entities coward religious leaders coward politicians and everyone that His Royal Majesty Otun Fuwa said it is contributing towards the development of a sentiment in Ghana is unmatched to any body, nor even a, a, a political or government. government. A Santi Kingdom existed and have lived in glory before colonization long before the independence of Ghana, long before party politics, long before some of these churches were established. They will all pass away, but a sentiment will live in glory forever and ever. If you want to know, we are much awake and will confront any such ongoing, any such growing immaturities with equal measure of brute force. And the word is brute force. Thank you for coming.